Welcome to Whining with a Ribe. Ryback. I love that era. Yeah, you know what name I love more than Ryback? Roman Reigns. What is Roman? Oh, that's Samoan hair. Pat slap my ass. Welcome to Winding with the Ryback. I am the big guy Ryback. I am your host this evening. I don't know what just happened right there. I blacked out. I don't know what I said. I could have could have said anything. Get those blackouts and I just mind goes crazy. Nice winding with the Ryback glasses, guys. I'm thinking we're gonna start selling these. What a loser! Winding with the Ryback established 1981. That's when I was born. Tonight's wine, as always, guys, Gary Vaynerchuk's Empathy Wine Red uh, Wine Blend. Because we have empathy for these people that like to talk trash to the big guy right back. We don't have a ton of comments tonight, but I think we have some good ones. We'll try to shorten these down. We don't want to make these videos too long either, right? I mean, some people like them long. That's what she said. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're going to do some comments tonight and uh, respond with love and positivity as always. Have empathy for the people that are hurting. Because guys, hurt people hurt people. We all see things we don't like and that is okay. I can't stress that enough. It's okay not to like stuff. Where it's not okay though is leaving comments to try to hurt other people and make other people feel bad. And there's a good way to do things in a bad these aren't the good ways. Not at all. I think someone did try to actually, I think there might be a good way. Actually, someone might've left a good negative comment tonight, if I'm not mistaken, when I ran through them before I started. So I got some uh, decorations out. I don't know if it's, it's 22 days before Christmas. It's not right. This hasn't been changed in today. We're filming this. Twenty days until Christmas. When this comes out, it won't be twenty days till Christmas. So there will be some comments because people won't watch this part of the video, where they'll be like, "No, bro, there's only like seventeen days till Christmas." Stupid. Well, fucking idiot. It wasn't when I recorded this, okay? Let's let's just let's have a little fun, shall we? Because by the time let's see, we got the video for tomorrow. What do we have? We have Saturday. We have Sunday. I'm really, I'm trying to... Ah, we're not gonna... I'm, I'm too dumb to figure this out because I don't know when this video is gonna come out. And now I got it all messed up. We need to have it... We need the correct... I don't want it to be looking at the correct, incorrect amount of time before Christmas. Okay. There we go. When I was a kid, I used to love shit like this. As an adult, I really don't. The mother sets it up. She, uh... Lives in the apartment suite attached to the house. <sighs> All right, guys, let's get going, shall we? Happy holidays. <whistles> First comment by Muff Dog. Oh, very simple one. Boo! With a black thumbs down. I don't know what this is in, uh, I don't know what this is for. But he didn't like it. But thank you for contributing to the algorithm. and Because I don't know if you guys know. Like, I want to help you guys out. Because like, if you don't like me, I don't want you to help me. Even though that technically I shouldn't do that. But you're not going to listen. Because most of you don't listen anyways that, that don't like me. That, like, when you comment or do a thumbs down, you're actually helping the channel, guys. So, Muff Dog, thank you. Thank you very much. John 27 Cass says, not big Cass, but just C-A-S, just Cass. 
not Kaz XL, just Kaz, John 27 Kaz. For someone who does not eat fast food, you sure have been eating a lot of fast food. It's really tough to, like, I don't know how to uh, explain it. You do the cheat meal on Sunday, typically. This week was been messed up because Chris Van Vliet came and we worked out and we wanted to do a five guys. So I had a burger and fries. So that technically is a cheat meal. But what I did is, is I took the calories from that and put them into my day. So I stayed on my actual calories for the day still. So I didn't go over. Whereas like on a cheat meal day, I'll actually go over on my calories with the cheat meal. If that makes sense. So yeah, this week I had fast food. It will technically probably be twice this week if I do a cheat meal on Sunday, which I probably will because I, again, it's about the calorie surplus for the day more than anything. But I'm looking better than ever because I'm body's coming back from training heavier and being able to. I've actually cut down on my work my working sets tremendously, and I mean, look at those tits, ladies. They're they're coming in, like almost two ninety eight, three hundred pounds, getting leaner. Muscle density is coming back. Shoulders are starting to get round again. Because it, it's, it's a beautiful thing. I'm still, I'm not, I'm not where I want to be yet. I'm not close. But it's coming back, so. John, though, apparently is, John is, John, I, and I, John's not happy, though, guys, that I'm eating fast food. Clearly. And I don't know what John looks like. I'm going to, I'm going to say John is probably not shredded. Safe assumption. And he's pissed off that I'm eating fast food. And... That was for you, Johnny boy. <laughs> okay, well, we've got another one on this. Boomer85 uh, says, Cheat meal once a week? Enjoy your show, but aren't you eating a lot of junk and making reviews? So I don't know the context of, like, I don't, I don't know the, 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 the consumption... What I think is happening is I think people are watching all of the fast food videos and they're just watching them. And I, we talked about this early on. We did twice a week. We did two a week and uh, to get that ball rolling on that. Um, but ever since it's been once and like, like even today I did a Chipotle carne asada steak bowl that will be going up in the next two or three days. Um and that's like a healthy meal eating out. So I don't know. And everyone has a different definition of fast food. And uh, like Chipotle, I don't necessarily classify as fast food. I don't classify it either as eating at home. But uh, it, at the end of the day, guys, it comes down to calories in versus calories out. End of the day. It really, it really, that, that is the tried and true true method that, that no matter what you do it is research proven and works. So... Boomer's not happy with me. I'm sorry, Boomer. What do you want from me? What the fuck do you want from me, Boomer, huh? Okay, this is a Ripple Stilt skin. Holy hell. Man. Man. This might take the cake on one complaining over stupid shit, guys. I can't wait to read this to you. This is so good. Ripple Stilt skin. Are you guys ready for this? Who taught you to open condiment packages, dude? <laughs> Man. I guess I'm going to have to go back. I would uh, Condiment packages, I would imagine my dad probably showed me as a young child. Or I just, I just learned on my own like most other fucking human beings. And just tear them. I, I assume too he's talking about the the Arby's, um, the Arby's uh, meat mountain sandwich deal, and one of them I couldn't open. My hands were all Arby's up, Arby's Arby's up, and uh, I had trouble opening one of them. My hands were all greasy, and um, that's the only thing I could think of from this. But yeah. I mean, usually you just tear them, tear them open, dude. Man, how upset. This right here, guys, is the perfect example. Ripple Stiltskin. Holy hell, my friend. 
I like I I truly 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 hope like whatever the fuck is going on, dude. I hope you get help, my friend. Like you're so angry over condiment packages. Man, there's so much more to life than condiment packages. Well, I guess maybe not. But what if you're like in prison and then like because don't there's like people in prison that like bag salad and like they have weird jobs in prison. I don't know. I've never been model citizen. Just hell of a human being. But um, man, this one really is concerning. I don't. I don't. I'm having trouble process. I need more wine. I mean, you're you're literally complaining about how I open condiment packages. I mean, thanks. That's like pretty badass, actually. I can, I can, I can. I'm so fucking talented. I could command your attention with a condiment package. I should be champion of. Freaking everything. Okay, moving on. Oh boy, oh boy, this is long. This might be the nice one. That's not nice. James Evans. Yeah, I don't feel bad at all. Um, okay, I get that you are confident and it's your channel and you can do what you want. It's my channel and I'm confident because I put in the work and yes, I can do what I want and I will. But the... F use and the sporadic, the sporadic head cocky mood swing bits are not really cool. Well, just hold on. One, I do it because it makes me laugh. I love making myself laugh inside. And uh, obviously, the this is the first negative comment I've seen uh, to my, like, shut the fuck up! To that. That guy does not like that. I'm really, man, sucks he doesn't like that because I love it so much. It's so funny to me because that's how I picture James Evans. Like when he gets mad, I picture him doing that. Um, and don't take this the wrong. And he's trying to be nice with it because he just doesn't like it. And that's completely okay. But man, the fact that he stopped to like take time out of his day to tell me how much he doesn't like it. And don't take this wrong because I love the positive, inspiring mindset you provide. Thank you. Sincerely, honestly, thank you for that. Um, I think the occasional outbursts are funny, but think maybe if frequency were only occasionally, it might help expand viewing numbers. Well, I don't think I do that like that all that often, dude. It might be once or twice a video, and I'm sure you'll find one where I do it three times, maybe. Just because I said once or twice, but love your message and please don't block or hide me. I was just trying to provide some possible help and growth. You rock. Happy Turkey Day. So here's the thing, James, and, and, and you'll hear Gary Vaynerchuk say this. Uh, I don't give a fuck about growth, brody. Bro, uh, brody? I just called you brother and buddy in one bruddy. I just, did I just come up with a new word? Whoa, I just came up with a new word. I just came up with a new word. And it's documented here on YouTube. Holy fuck, this is... Do you guys... I know you guys already you guys already put it together. Cause like for dudes, when we call it like yeah, bro, ho, yeah, brother, oh brother, give me a fist bump, brother. Psycho said fist bump, brother. And someone's your buddy, but you want to be you want to be closer than a brother and a buddy, Bruddy. Did we just become brothers? I just spit too. I'm so excited over this. Did we just become brothers? Did we just become best brothers? It's better than brother, buddies. And it's not family, but it's the best of both worlds. Bruddy. Bruddy. I have so many bruddies out here. I just created a new word. Turn a negative into a positive, guys. That's what you do. He doesn't like me. And I just, James, we just became bruddies. <laughs> but he does say you rock and happy turkey day. 
I just came up with a new word. I live forever, Bruddy. Holy hell. Ryback never dies now. Never. Bruddy, created by the big guy Ryback while drinking wine on his Ryback TV. Wow. This is such a big... This We should stop the show. We can't get any higher than this, Dells. Oh, that wine didn't, that one hit strong. This wine's really good, but that one hit really weird. That was, I think, because I was so excited, I'm legit excited. Josh uh, Chavez Chavez says, "Did you uh, did you say you had drinks and went to get tacos? Come on, Ryback, don't drink and drive, bro. No, if I said that, I, I ordered it Postmates and I can post the fucking Postmates receipt, uh, dude. Um, I will not do that. So." I thought I saw somebody else say that too. And so maybe, I don't know if in the video I said, uh, I, I thought I could have swore I said I, I post made uh, tacos on the video, but I did not drive. So if somebody wants to call me out on social media, on Instagram or whatever, like I'll post it because I'm recording with the phone right now. Um, just so I could just keep my track record of always telling the fucking truth. Uh, excuse me. All right, final one, final one. Tim Kaiser Kaiser. Why would you take a hot pepper challenge? He didn't leave a question mark on it, though. Exclamation point. And don't even know the names of the peppers you're eating. Well, Tim, very, very, very logical, good reason uh, for that. Is, is I did not buy the fucking peppers, my friend. They were given to me by, by my good friend, Johnny Scoville, who came down to record a, a podcast and do a challenge here from Reno. And the peppers were in the box and they were not in, there were some that were in, in, in little containers that were marked. And then a lot of them got out of that container and were not marked. And I clearly mentioned I'm not like a pepper expert. I just knew that I had a group of peppers and I knew I had all those peppers in the group there. So I ate all the peppers that I said. I just didn't necessarily, I'm not like a, uh, this pepper, pepper expert at this point. I'm just in the beginning stages of becoming a chili head. UK chili queen and uh, Johnny Scoville of uh, Chase the Heat, two YouTube legends on uh, heat. And then I'm doing things that they're doing right away. And I don't know. And the, but they, they, are, they are superior to me in the heat game. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not, I just do this stuff for mental challenges and I'm working my way up and I hope to be in, uh, close to as good as them at some point. But these people are just like, they are just genetically gifted in that field. I'm just a big, dumb, stupid guy, big meathead with big tits. Just trying to live my best life, my friend. So I'm sorry I didn't know the names of the peppers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so fucking stupid. At least I'm rich. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that does it for another episode of Whining with the Ryback. I, I, I am your host, like I said in the beginning, the big guy Ryback. And um, let's be good human beings, guys. It really, really helps us. A lot of people that if you're struggling. And you're down on your luck. You have injuries. I've been there. I've been there. And I understand it. And I have a little bit of better understanding on why some people that, that have had that kind of stuff happen. How they can get into a really negative place. And I, I truly do have a really good understanding of that now. And uh, I think sometimes in life we offer a lot of advice. But in, people don't understand like, well, where do I start? How do I do it? And for me, and this is only speaking for me. Um, the best thing I think you could possibly do as human beings, and it's not easy, and there's a lot of things that are trying to make us mad and make us angry at each other, from media to newspapers to social media, it's, it's not easy, guys. Um, but the one thing is, is treating other human beings good when we can. And as far as, and like I said, like holding a door open, 
and this is, and I'm a piece of shit for having to tell this story, but just to give you an example, and going in today to Chipotle, and it makes me mad actually, it really does make me mad, going into Chipotle today to get my little burrito bowl, um, there was a woman uh, that had a baby on a stroller and she had her hands full and she had her little baby son was trying to open the door and the door was too heavy for him to push open. And I was walking in, so I got over there and I opened the door for them and and they were able to get out. And and the little boy goes, Thank you. And it was it was it was adorable. And the woman was also said thank you, but like acted like it was like a big deal. And at that, like, I'm like, wow. Like, this is the world we're living in now, where that seems like a big deal. That shouldn't be a big deal. That shouldn't, that should just be common courtesy. And not even because she had a baby, and just common courtesy. And and, and I, I hate having to fucking even tell the story, because I hate, but I think it, it proves a point that, like, where we're at as human beings is because people aren't doing that now. So, let's try. And, I, and I'm not a saint by any fucking means. But it's him, I'm conscious of it. And I'm try, try every chance just because I know it. Because there's, you smile at one person. Uh, I had, a, I had a, a girl that I'm good friends with here today. And uh, she's, she's mentally such a very nice Nika. And I'm going to shout her out because she's such a, a beautiful soul. <clears throat> and she, uh, I didn't know she was having a really bad day. And, uh, she's, she, we bounce things off each other all the time and she'll call sometimes and just a really smart, intelligent woman. Uh, and I've been friends with her for a few years and she, uh, and I just told her it's something I do. Don't forget to smile today. And I love you. And like, I tell her, I love you just cause she's, she's just a good human being. And, uh, like she messaged me back later and just said, Thank you so much. I was a ticking time bomb until I read that. And then like that instantly just changed my mood. So, and the point of all this is, is that just by being conscious of this, cause we're all going to get mad and angry that when you're nice to someone, it could truly, truly impact their day. And I've heard stories and I, we can go on I'll, and I'll tell another story on something I heard recently from one of my buddy Bradley's podcast about a, a woman that was going to kill herself and a guy that was going door to door. And she was being a bitch to him and he was just extra nice and her son had just died and she was going to kill herself. And like he saved her life by just being nice. Like it, it's, it's powerful shit guys. So I think we, I think we need to talk about this stuff more because it's, um, I, I get it. Like I know I dude, I get it. All of us were like, I get why people are mad it, and it's a circumstance. It's of the circumstances of everything going on around us. So, but, uh, let's just try our best guys. All right. All right. Thank you for watching. My go home tonight, guys. Smile. And try to be nice when you can. Good night. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel. And for Feed Me More Nutrition on FeedMeMore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10. Click here. For my podcast, Conversation with the Big Guy, Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.